Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome to another First Look episode. Today we're going to be playing an independent game that was just released on the Steam Store called Epanalepsis. So yeah, let's get started here. We're going to pick save slot 1. Now this is a point, uh, a click type game. Uh, goes through several different time periods, so not quite sure what to expect. But yeah, we're going to give it a shot. So I guess we're going to begin Chapter 1 in 1993, playing Rachel. Okay. So this is Rachel, and it is snowing. So we are using the WASD keys. Every night I have a dream. It's always a variation on the same theme. I'm in the forest, and it's winter. I'm out behind my parents' place. It's 1979, but I'm not me in 1979. The wind isn't blowing. I'm not cold. It feels like I've been abandoned. One time I got lost in the woods, and I thought that I could hear wolves in the bushes. My dad scolded me when he found me. He told me there weren't any wolves out here anymore. The forest stretched up to and over the mountains in the distance. All of that opaque blackness and no wolves. Where did the wolves go? Right. I'm going to keep looking through here, see if I can find something that I might be able to click on. But I think since we're in a dream sequence, we just need to keep moving. My parents said their winter home, sold their winter home when I went to college. I hadn't been there in years, but it still hurt me. I could never go back. The idea that I couldn't return there was what hurt the most. Someone showed up with a number written on a paper and my father signed beside it. I don't think they even called me. My mother mentioned it in passing a year later. She calls me about her car. She calls me about the weather. She couldn't be bothered to call me about selling off my childhood? I'm really interested in the name, a panalepsis. A panalepsis refers to a a figure of speech where uh, a word is kind of repeated at the end of a sentence. I don't know why this is the play. I don't know why I appear here. But it's always this winter, this forest, this time. I've tried to tell people about the dream. I've tried to explain what's strange about it. It's like looking at the sky 15 minutes before it rains. You know that something is going to happen, but you don't know what. So yeah, panalepsis is kind of putting, uh, repeating a word at the end of a phrase for emphasis. Um, the most well-known one that I can think of off the top of my head is, uh, uh, ooh, this isn't like every other time. This has never happened before. Things shift. It doesn't feel like a dream anymore. A hooded figure in red. It's like a fairy tale. He looks at me and my heartbeat pounds in my ears. I can't breathe. I've been waiting for you, Rachel. We have never met. This is another kind of place. This time I wanted to meet you before it begins. It seems appropriate. My mouth refuses to open. I want to shout at him to leave that this is my place. This isn't the time to panic. That might come around again, but it isn't here. I will leave you here with the burden for a moment. Only a moment. Have you seen it yet? It is so hard to remember sometimes. He was gone. This place felt cold for the first time. So to finish my uh, initial thought, a panalepsis is referring to a phrase that is has a word that's repeated at the end uh, for emphasis. The one that uh, I think most people know of is um, the king is dead, long live the king. Uh, I'm sure there, there are others that are uh, out there. It's a fairly common uh, literary device. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this piece of paper here. I touch it, but not with my hand. My body doesn't respond. I try to read it, but I can only make out shapes. I don't know if I'm dreaming anymore. I focus my eyes. I can't see anything. Who was he? I wake up. Ugh, what a nightmare. 
That was so... different. Christ, I need to piss. I wonder what time it is. Did I sleep through Vanessa's call? Wait, no. Priorities. Piss first, then Vanessa. Right, we're gonna go and see if we can find... Oh, what do we got here? A record player. I bought this record player with money for my 11th birthday. I listened to the Top Gun soundtrack until the needle wore out. It's a good soundtrack. Poster. A band inspired by some show from a few years back. The drummer was super cute and he blew me a kiss as they left the stage. I bought a poster and waited around but she didn't come out. I found this filing cabinet in the stairwell of the building. I think this building might have been offices before they turned it into apartments. Can't imagine this entire place covered in mid-century salarymen. They kept corporations in there. I just kept my clothes in it. I keep the cases for all of my tapes. When I go to Vanessa's house, there are gray bricks all over the houses. Half of them were mixtapes someone passed her in a club. I've never seen her listen to any of them, just strange things on repeat. Rattle and hum for hours, purple rain for days. I've been listening to the serpent's egg. I found it in heaven. What do we got here? Chest? My mother gave me this chest. I keep spare blankets in it. It's okay. Vanessa gave me this poster. I think she got it from some kid she deals to. I guess it's for a movie or something. I'll take it down when I get something better. Alright, let's... Go and find a bathroom. Oh, we got books. Lots of books that I couldn't bear to get rid of after college. Hemingway, Pynchon, Bronte. I thought about a lot of them, but I didn't actually read very many of them. This is the kitchen. What do we got here? Some short picture books. A rock, a candle. I think Vanessa's brought over most of these. Cute little plants. The couch. Here's the office. Where's the bathroom? Here's the bathroom. Anything interesting? Note to self. I make notes all the time, but I can't ever quite figure out how to make time for it all. It doesn't really make sense. I don't have a job. I should be able to get everything done. The days slip by, though, when I end up with these sprawling documents. Like, learn to sew. I could do that. That could be that hard, right? Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Bet my bladder's about to burst. Alright. Mirror. Alice stepped through the mirror and into a chess game. All I could do is look back at my own reflection. Yep. Let's use the toilet. Yes! At least we went to black. That was amazing. I feel like my whole life has turned around. What a weird dream, though. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Do I even have any food in the kitchen? I guess I should check. Fingers crossed. Alright. Let's go back to the kitchen. Can't click. Whoa, what the hell was that noise? Oh shit, the phone. I couldn't hear it from the bathroom. I need to move that thing out of the kitchen. Well, we're heading to the kitchen anyway, so... It'll be good. Well, the music is a little bit loud. I'm hoping that it's not uh, drowning out my voice. Let's answer it. Hello? Yes, mother. Yes, of course I was home. Where else could I be? No, I haven't. Yes, I have been looking. You read the news. You know how things are right now. Yes, I appreciate what you do for me. The apartment is great. An investment, too. I know, I know. I'll try. I don't think that I have the time. I'm really busy. Yeah, but I'm trying to get a job. I'm looking, I told you. I know he is. Maybe in a few weeks? Maybe then. Don't talk like that, Mom. Realistic or not, I don't like it. I... I gotta go now. You too. Bye. Why does she always act like that? I need a drink. Beer, beer, more beer. And some vodka in the freezer. 
I guess it is afternoon already. Oh, hell not again. I swear, if it's my mother again, I'm hanging up. My fridge is empty except for booze. I don't even know why I know one. I could drink tap water and I don't ever cook. Sometimes I feel like I could disappear into nothing and the only thing left of me would be some baking soda. Mom? No, I'm sorry. What? I can't hear you very well. There's a lot of static. Please, speak more slowly. Slower. I don't even know anybody named Arroyo. I'm sorry, I'm hanging up now. No, there's a clicking noise and the static is louder now. I can't... I think you have the wrong number. I get calls like that more often than anyone else I know. Men with accents yelling for people with names I've only read about in novels. Maybe I should change my number. It would certainly keep alcoholic exes from calling. Alright, well I can't do a whole lot else. This stove my mother had uh, has my mother all over it. Neat, clean, efficient, sensible. Most of the stuff here was picked by some kind of contractor, but this is specific. I don't even know how to use the damn thing. Like, why do I need 15 different settings? On and off, up and down, turning knobs. Let's head back to the living room. Let me just sit on the couch for a little bit. Oh, shit. I forgot to put the zines together. Vanessa's going to be so mad at me if I show up without them. Alright, what do I need? Let's see. I definitely need the printouts, the long stapler, and my desk. I've got to hurry. I don't want to be late, and I still need to take a shower. Alright. So we've got a list of things that we need to get. I'm assuming that they're going to be in the office. I bought this from some kid selling all of his possessions on the last day of classes. He told me he was moving to Africa. I asked him where, and he just told me Africa. What a brave guy. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Maybe it's in the bed. Well, there's nothing in the bedroom, but, uh... Knickknacks? I don't think I can click on those. Maybe I'm not close enough? Some sort of picture books? A rock? A candle? Ah, uh, alright. Is that a picture? I don't own many pictures, but I love this one. I haven't seen Cassie in the flesh in four or five years. Sometimes I can hear her talking in the background while I'm talking to my mother. Sometimes I can hear her say that she doesn't want me to talk to me, and I assume my mother is pantomiming. And Does she still look like this? Wow, where is... Where's all this stuff that I'm supposed to grab? I don't think I can leave yet, but let's try. I don't want to leave yet. Alright, well I know I need to take a shower. Championship? I won this at a spelling bee in the third grade. It's the only word that I've ever won. It has this position of prominence so that it can remind me of my place in the world. Vanessa? I like to see Vanessa's face while I work. Oh, let me start that over. I like to see Vanessa's face while I work. It took this picture on vacation. It was the summer after college and we had enough money to coast. I hadn't moved out yet, and I wasn't as deep in debt to my parents. She looks so much happier in this picture than she ever does in real life. I wonder what that's all about. Alright, well... It's supposed to come in near my desk, but I don't see any of the images uh, on here. Let's see if maybe I can take a shower. Vanessa found this shower curtain at a trade show a few months ago. I don't care for the floral pattern, but she really loves it. I think I would be happiest with a plain white curtain. Something simple. Something that doesn't feel so... Well, just so... Something different. Alright, well, I don't think I can do anything there yet. Alright, nothing in storage. That's kind of the issue with these uh, kind of point-and-click games as you go through them. You don't really have much in the way of an idea of uh, what you need to do until you get there. I mean, I went through all of this, so I know that there's nothing in here. We looked at the books. Hmm. 
Yeah. And the kitchen? There it is. I'm pretty sure I didn't put it there. It could have fallen back behind the fridge. Who could have found it? I stole this from a lab in college. Best theft ever. Now I need to find the printouts that Molly gave me. Alright, so I'm learning a little bit of the quirks that come with this game. Um, and primarily them being... Uh, that you need to be really close to click on some of these items. Like we don't have to be very f close to to get the um, the doors and some of the larger furniture things here, but um, everything else is just a little bit uh, a little bit more difficult to click on. All right, so. What I'm looking for is the printouts that Vanessa gave her. All right. So far, I haven't seen anything that's out of the ordinary. Got all of this stuff that we've looked at before. That's the missing microwave. Let's see, party cabinet? Party supplies, unfilled balloons, string, and ribbon. It's taken me so long to find appropriate Halloween decorations. I even ordered some of it from a catalog. It took so much time to pick the right thing. Also, there's a lot of gift boxes. So many gift boxes. What about here? Junk drawer. I keep all kinds of weird stuff in here. Lighters, rubber bands, hair clips, scissors, and everything else that doesn't really go anywhere else. I like the chaos of it all, but it really is frustrating when I need a battery. Yeah, I hate junk drawers. Goody cabinet. Put all kinds of awesome stuff in this cabinet. There's caramels and some brownie mix and cupcake sprinkles. I haven't had a reason to eat this stuff in a while. I normally break it all out for parties. I guess some of it has probably gone bad. I haven't really thought about it. Alright, well, we've got nothing else in here that I can see. Party cabinet, goodie drawer, junk drawer, stove, fridge, phone. No uh, printouts anywhere to be found. Nonfiction, fiction, there's that picture, the knickknacks, the plants, personal books, the couch. Nothing on the ground underneath the couch. All right. Nothing in the storage room. Whoa, wait a minute. Clicked on the door again. Didn't mean to. So I think I did. Yeah. There's super plant. There's the Judy Bloom thing. Championship thing. Picture of Vanessa. Notes to myself. What do we got here? Assemble? Alright, so let's put this here and that there, and then... Ugh, that's not even what I wanted. At all. What about... Why couldn't anyone else do this? What is this even about? I wonder whether there's a giant vulva on the cover. Is it, like, a message? Oh, okay, so you do it like this, and I line the rest up against the first one like this. Now I do that 50 more times. Blah, and I'm done. Ugh, I smell awful. I need to get in the shower so I can go up to the bar. Where I will immediately begin to smell like cigarette smoke. Yeah, seriously. Alright, so, there you go. What you need to do is click on this little assemble thing here on the desk. Let's go take a shower. Nice hot shower. Would be nice if this building could be counted on for hot water at any point in time. Here's to hoping. Cold. That wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess.
Time to meet Vanessa at the bar. All right. All right. Here I go. Heaven isn't so far. It's right down the street. I can make it. At least it's nice outside today. Looks like Rachel lives in a sketchy neighborhood. We got a pawn shop with a weird looking N. And two skeezy guys hanging out in front of the pawn shop. O'Neill and Sawula. Okay. What does that say? Today's an excellent day. Work sucks. I like to party. Modern day philosophers. A bouncer. Alright, so we're inside heaven. We got... Is that Millsap? I think the Terminator is scary, though. I... Okay. Which Terminator? Martin. Are video games the future? Nah. Matthews. Karaoke business is good. And by good, I mean great. Excellent. Let's talk to the bartender. Hey, Trevor. Rachel, right? What's up? Have you seen Vanessa today? I was supposed to meet her here. Nah, I haven't seen her. Some cheeky was asking around for you. She's here somewhere. Tony? Yeah, something like that. You know her? Nope. At least I don't think I do. I meet so many people through Vanessa. I hear you. All right, I gotta get back to work. Are those zines tonight? Oh, yeah. If you could put them behind the counter for me. No problemo. I got your back. Check you later. Later, Trevor. Trevor's a good guy. Oh, what do we got here? Let's see if we can find this Tony girl. Question marks. Are you Tony? Hello, Rachel. Right on time, like always. You're so dependable. Don't be. Do you mind if we talk outside? It's so noisy in here. Two to keep track of. Okay. Come outside, underneath the sign. Uh, I mean, underneath the sign that is not there. My apologies. Uh, I guess. I mean, alright. I'll see you there shortly. Alright, so I guess we're going back outside. After we talk to Tony, I think that is going to be the end of this episode. I think we guys have a little bit more to go. The stairs are gross and they smell like piss. It's nothing like Cheers would have you believe. That's very true. All right. What sign are we talking about? The bar sign? I guess the owners couldn't resist naming it that. This place is terminally cool, despite rarely having like live music or anything other than the worst beer. There's enough people rolling around their 20s here to make every night interesting. So I'm here every night trying to find people and figure things out. I think the bartender is mad that I keep asking about a job. Yeah, that's probably true. I can't go back down in there, can I? Is this called? A beautiful painting. Somebody threw up over all over a whiteboard. Okay, so she's gone. I'm not talking to those guys. I'm fat enough I talk to these guys. Alright. She's gonna be here somewhere. Oh, the sign that doesn't exist. The missing sign. I'm always fascinated by the baroqueness of those sign brackness. Someone must have spent days building that little apparatus to keep a sign in the air. And now, poof, the sign is gone. Somebody probably stole it as a prank. The person who put it up is probably dead. I don't even know what this store used to be. I don't think anyone on the block does. It's kind of sad. Tony? Alright, I'm here. Make it quick, Tony. Funny this time. You're so strange. I think I finally understand why. 
I'm going back inside, whack job. Listen to me, Rachel. I have pleaded with you a thousand times. We've stood here time and time again. I've shown you maps of the universe. I've let you walk through time and chart new maps yourself. What are you talking about? We've traveled together. I've shown you the machine and its shifting dials and knobs. We've shared the burden. I've watched you fold under it and live for years in turn. I I'm going back inside. Burden? Whatever. Please, one more moment, please. No matter what I do, no matter what you do, I am always forced to return here. We crawl through the walls, but you get lost. I lose you. Then I am here again. There is a choice to be made, and Passus does not see it. The machine does not lie. There's so many hints. You were so strange, so special, a minor fulcrum in the grand technology. Even the smallest speck of dust can undo the most beautiful clockwork. What are you saying to me? Are you on crack? Veneta doesn't sell that stuff anymore. Where do you... I'm saying that there are two choices, only two, that appear time and time again. You can burrow back underground. Vanessa is there. She is with another woman, and seeing them will ruin you in time. You will flounder and fall. You will be undone. Bullshit. Things will continue, and this epic will feel the lack of you, and I will perhaps return to this time, broken, again. Or you can return to the sky. It will shelter you as it does, and the day will be forgotten. A shift will occur, a difference made, and you will live to see stranger things. I cannot tell you more. I cannot tell you less without losing hope. I... Uh, what is your trip? Seriously? Do you need help? I can run and get that... G <laughs> I have told you all I can. More does nothing. Less leaves you to flounder. I believe in you, Rachel. Whoa, and she disappears. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? And on that note, I think we're going to end episode one of a Panalepsis. I hope you enjoyed. I'm planning on continuing this game as often as I can in small little chunks, probably released one a day until I finish the game. So yeah, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.